John, there's an unfortunate confusion out there in a lot of Christian literature, Catholic literature, with uh, on the topic of meditation and contemplation. Now, the, the compendium of the Catechism of the Catholic Church provides very distinct and clear categories about what uh, each is, you know, what's the differences between them, what's similar. Um, but some, oftentimes they're conflated in, in, in current writing. So could you help us understand what are the differences? Yeah, the, when you talk about meditation and contemplation, there is a lot of confusion. And the easiest way to understand the distinction is to realize that there's one main thing in common between them and one main thing different between them. Uh, the thing in common is that both meditation, Christian meditation, and contemplation are forms of what we call mental prayer. And mental prayer is where you speak to God personally with your own words. It's, a, it's an intimate conversation with God. So both meditation and contemplation are that type of prayer, mental prayer. What's the difference? Well, meditation is a conversation in which my effort predominates. I am really seeking to get to know God. I'm looking into the scriptures. I'm asking questions. I'm very active with my mind, with my imagination, really kind of digging in. Uh, the catechism actually calls meditation a quest. So it's me questing for a deeper encounter with God and His, the truths of his revelation. When we talk about contemplation, the, the purest form of contemplation is where I'm doing almost nothing and God steps in and does all the work himself. He quiets my soul and he almost invades my soul and embraces me and, and my sense of his presence. Uh, I don't have to do anything to receive the consolation and the light. Yeah, so there's this continuum between pure meditation where I'm doing almost all the work but God is still at work but I'm doing a lot of the work and then pure contemplation where God's doing almost all the work. And usually, contemplation emerges from meditation. So when we begin to meditate and as we grow in our faith, God will lead us as we grow to a more and more contemplative experience of Him in prayer. So I think one of the keys and an important one you've made, a distinction that you've made, is that meditation is not the same as contemplation. Contemplation is prayer, but it's not. It's a, it's a specific form of prayer where God is the primary actor, right? One of my favorite um, illustrations of this is you have a little toddler at the bottom of the stairs whose uh, mommy's at the top and the little toddler's struggling to get up and bumping their head and falling down. And maybe they get up one stair, bumping their head, and they see mommy and they really want to go up. And then there's this moment where mom says, okay, you put in enough effort, you're frustrated enough, I'm going to reach down and pick you up and bring you to myself. Is that the way God works be, as we transition between meditation and contemplation? Uh, I would say yes and no. I think that the illustration really powerfully shows that God is doing the work in contemplation. Yeah. But usually what happens in the spiritual life is uh, if he gives us the experience of contemplation where he just invades our soul, if he gives us that too soon mm -hmm. and we're not mature enough spiritually, we will become attached to the feelings oh, right. that come yeah, with yeah. that contemplation. And then we seek the feelings instead of seeking God. Yeah, so we actually grow up. So we're not, by the time we get to the top of the stairs, we're no longer a baby, in a right. sense. You know, right. we're, we're a little bit more mature spiritually, because otherwise we'll fall into, you know, worshiping the gift instead of the giver. Absolutely. To dig deeper in the spiritual life, to explore a little more about the better part, go to rcspiritualdirection.com. That's R as in Roman, C as in Catholic, spiritualdirection.com.